Hi, it's Savvy Nana, and today I'm going to show you how to create letter stencils using the Cricut Design Space. It's really easy. Uh, it just takes a while to kind of figure out how to do it. it took me a while anyways. Uh, but uh, I've made several stencils. I'm sure you've seen them. I've made the subway art and um, the frames, the trays, and all sorts of stuff. I did my bathroom, my beach-themed bathroom, using stencils that I cut in the design space. So let's get started. Today we're going to make a round plaque. I made one for my grandson Jet. It says Jet's Clubhouse. It's a takeoff on the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse because he's really into Mickey Mouse. But for this purpose, for these purposes, we're not going to make Jet's name. But you can make your child's name or your grandson's or her granddaughter's, wh whoever name you want to put on there. But we'll, let's just do a Mickey Clubhouse. So let's start with making our basic shape. Since I used a round plaque. It's a wooden plaque that I found at the craft department at Walmart. It's a Derice, I believe is the brand. Um, it was $1.11, really inexpensive. It's about maybe six to eight inches. So I met, you know, I measured it obviously and I made my circle that, to fit right over it. So here we go. But you can use any sign you want. It could be square, rectangle, wh whatever. You just are going to create a stencil. But in this in this video I'm going to show you not only how to make a letter stencil but how to make it curve around. So it's kind of a two-in-one. Okay, so in, let's start with our circle and let's make it red. I like red. Okay, now the first thing I did is I wanted the mouse ears in the middle so I'm going to upload that image. I've already done it, obviously, because I've used it for appliques and several other things. So it's already here. It's right here in my um, account. So I'm going to insert that image and put it right here. And I'll make it whatever size I want. And you can do it, you kind of want it like this, because I'm going to have cl uh, Mickey's Clubhouse there. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we're going to do adding a text. So we'll put Mickey's Clubhouse. There you go. Now the font I'm using is called Mini. I downloaded it from dafont.com. That's D-A-F-O-N-T. It's a really good source for a lot of uh, free fonts. They've got a lot of fun, fun fonts there and you just download it and then install it and it becomes part of your fonts and you can change the font right here in your edit screen you can do system fonts and there's Cricut and there's all fonts now the Cricut fonts unless you're subscribed to Cricut Access um, they're not free you would have to purchase them but if you go to defont.com there's a lot of cool and fun fonts that you'll find over there so I downloaded this one and um, so now Okay, obviously this is not going to work for us. We can size it to whatever size we want, like this. Now, a couple things we need to do. First, if we obviously we're going to have to curve it, but that'll be our next step. First thing is, if you're going to cut out these letters, if you notice the O and the B, they have these spaces. Now, the Cricut doesn't know, so if you just do a plain cut, it'll cut out the B outline. And it, of course it'll cut these out, but it's not going to be stuck on there like a stencil. And you're just going to have like the outline without the spaces, and it's not. It's going to look really funny. Trust me. So what we're going to do though is because um, because we're not going to make a straight line on this, we're going to have to curve it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to ungroup the letters because if we don't ungroup them now, it's not going to work. So let's take these. You don't have to ungroup them all the time, but because we're going to make a curve, we have to ungroup them. So let's take out the letters that we're going to have to fix. Okay, this is such an easy fix. All you do is you come over here, grab a square. Now you need to unlock it. You obviously don't need a square. You're going to need a thin strip. Now the strip can be as thick or thin as you want. Uh, it looks about right. So you're going to place it right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell the Cricut when it cuts, it's going to leave these spaces in. So 
that your B will look like a B. Now we need it for the O. Um, you could, of course, do this to all the letters, but why would you? I mean, unless you, like all the others will cut out just fine because these the spaces that mark them are going to be attached to, not going to be cut out. So only these two. So let's do this and let's see if it'll work. Cricut Design Space has been kind of working funny for me. We were supposed to weld it together. Okay. What you do is you highlight the slats and then you press. Wait a second. Okay, let me do that again. Highlight the slats, control key, do this, and slice. Okay, and do that again with the B and slice. Okay, so now you're going to end up with these strips, which obviously you don't want. So we'll just get rid of those. And as you see, once you get rid of them, when you now have these this thin strips separating the letters, so when it cuts out, these strips that you made in the middle are going to be not cut out, so your B will look like a B and your O will look like an O. Okay, so now we've done that. And now we're going to position the letters. That's why we ungrouped them, so that we can position them where we want. And, of course, we're going to have to grab this rotate here and rotate it to follow the curve. So we're going to follow that curve all the way around with every letter. Okay, now when you are happy with the way the letters are arranged around the circle, you will have to weld them back together. So what you do is highlight, then press the control key, and just keep highlighting everything that you're going to weld together. In this case, all the letters. So we'll, we'll do that. Now you have to keep holding down the control key. And be sure you go in the boxes as well. And another way to make sure that it's all highlighted is if you look here, they've all turned blue. Okay, so now we hit weld. So all those letters are now welded together. Okay, so now what we do is we take the mount, that image, and then hold the control key, get the mouse ears, and then get this. Do that, grab that, and hit slice. Okay, now let's select this and do this. Move to back. We have to move that to the back. We'll put the mouse here. We'll highlight this one. Control, hit slice. Okay. Now, if we move this big circle, and we've cut it out, and we've actually got our stencil. So we're not going to need this, because if we leave it on there, we'll end up cutting a bunch of those, and we really don't need that. Okay. Oops, I missed that. That's okay. If you miss a letter, it's okay. Just move it back to the front, and position it where you want. Control key, highlight both, and slice. Okay, now there you have the curve. Now, if you don't want to curve it like I put here, come inside. So we'll add some more text. Come inside. Okay, now we don't have to ungroup these because I'm not going to make them curve. I just want them to go straight across. 
but I do need to size it so it'll fit straight across. Now when you're making stencils, you want to be careful. You want to use font that's easy to cut. You don't want all those curly stuff in there because it just makes it much that much harder to make it into a stencil. And a lot of times, if it's too small, you also want it to be good size because it, it'll cut it, but it's really hard to stencil tiny, tiny letters. So here, in this situation, let's see, we have the O and the D that we need to keep the middle part in. So let's grab another square, unlock it, make us a little strip right here. Put it on, okay, see, this one we're going to have to adjust. That's a little bit too thick and it's not going to serve the purpose. So we need a really thin strip because it's a smaller letter. Let's put it right there. Let's duplicate that. Okay, now since we didn't ungroup these letters, it should actually work even easier. Hold down the control. Weld those two together. Get our welded image, control key down, do the, the text, slice. Okay, can get rid of the extra stuff. You could also get rid of it this way, but this way I, I like the visual thing. Okay, so now we're going to put it right here, and we want it to cut, so we'll control. Highlight control key and then slice again. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And there you have it your round stencil with the text following the curve or the arc of the circle. And then you have your straight stencil right down here. And you have your Mickey Mouse ears. Now all you have to do is cut this then put it on to your wood or whatever you're going to stencil. Get your stencil brush out and your paints and stencil. It's really easy once you know how. And these letters, like the O, the D, the B, any of those letters that require the inside to be attached, all you have to do is get, make those little slats, attach them, slice them, and you are good to go. So there you have it. I hope you have fun creating all sorts of stencils. It's really fun to do and you can go really crazy and stencil just about anything. Believe me, that's kind of what I've been doing. Ha happy crafting!